This week we've been reading the book, The Monster Pumpkins, and we've been looking at the two main characters, Bonk and Lurk. And what we've been doing is we've been analyzing them. Analyze means we've looked closely at the main characters to see what did they say? What did they do? How did they feel? To help us learn more about the book. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to read the book to you one more time. When I have finished reading the book, then I'm going to show you how we are going to fill in a graphic organizer talking about the ways that Bonk and Lurk are the same and ways that they are different. All right, now we've read this book several times this week, so please feel free to read along with me as I read and take note of the things that we've marked over the last couple days, what we've highlighted and those things we've stamped, because those will come in handy with our graphic organizer later. Let's have a contest, says Bonk to Lurk. Grandpa, give me pumpkin seeds, says Bonk. Let's see who can plant and grow the biggest pumpkin. What will the winner get, asks Lurk. The loser will make the winner a pumpkin pie, says Bonk. Lurk licks his monster lips. Yum! Okay. Bonk and Lurk plant the pumpkin seeds. They water the seeds. The seeds sprout and grow. In the fall, there are pumpkins! Lurk sits with his pumpkin. He sings songs and tells stories to his pumpkin. He covers it with a blanket at night. That is silly, says Bonk. My pumpkin doesn't think so, says Lurk. Soon it is harvest time. Uzzle brings a scale to the pumpkin patch. They weigh the pumpkins. They are the same weight, says Lurk. Now what do we do? Bonk thinks. We'll cut up both pumpkins for two pies, says Bonk. Lurk looks at his pumpkin. Cut up my pumpkin, he asked. How else will you make a pumpkin pie, asked Bonk. Bonk cuts up his pumpkin pie. Lurk rides his bike to the grocery store. Bonk measures, stirs, and bakes. Lurk measures, stirs, and bakes. Here is your pie, Bonk says. Here is yours, says Lurk. Yum, they both say. All right, so let's look at our graphic organizer. So this graphic organizer is called a Venn diagram. In a Venn diagram, you have two circles to show the two things that you are comparing and contrasting. Now, if you look at these circles and the picture and the name, you see that this is Bonk, here's the picture of Bonk, and here is Bonk's circle. Now, on this side, we have the name Lurk, we have a picture of Lurk, and we have a circle for Lurk as well. But look carefully in the middle. Right here, this section is part of both Bonk and Lurk's circle. This is the part where we're going to put the things they both did, the things that are the same. The word that you see is alike. So when I look at these pictures on the side, I am going to decide, is this something they both did? If it is, I'm going to put it right here in the middle so it's part of both of their circles. But if I look at something and say, oh no, they both didn't do it, just Bonk did this, then I want to put it over here in Bonk's circle because it's different. Suppose I look at something else and I say, oh no, that's something that only Lark did. Then I want to put it over here because it's different and it's something that only Lark did. So. Let's try a few. The first thing is, let's look right here. Oh, what's happening? They're stirring. Okay, who stirred in the story? If you can't remember, always, always go back and check your story. So let's see, I'm gonna look through the pages. Oh, there's Lurk stirring. But let me, oh, and there's Bonk stirring. Guess what? They both stirred their pumpkin. So I need to put this right here in the middle because it's a way they are alike. They both did the same thing. They both stirred. All right, let me look over here now at, oh, here's a can of pumpkin. 
Did they both use a can of pumpkin? Let's look back at our story and check. Well, here is Bonk. He cut open a pumpkin. And here's Lurk. Oh, it was only Lurk that used the can of pumpkins. So the can of pumpkins I want to put right here. Now remember what did Bonk use? He used his pumpkin, he cut open, but Lurk did not want to cut open his pumpkin. So this is something that only Bonk did. So see, that's a way they're different, is that Bonk cut his pumpkin and Lurk bought a can of pumpkin. All right, so I want you to look at the rest of the pictures and move them over to the right place of the graphic organizer. If you get stuck and you want to check the book, I have assigned the book, The Monster Pumpkins, to you in RAS+. Plus. All you have to do is go in and get on your assignment, and when you get to your assignment, you'll see that book, and you can open it up and check your answers. Have fun seeing how Bonk and Lurk are the same and different.